It's Christmas week and today it's all about Penny Pantry Mix. Hot cocoa with dehydrating your own marshmallows. Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're in the kitchen and we are gonna work on a project. Now this is for Christmas gifts or if you just want to furnish your pantry with all kinds of food that are very frugal and staying away from the grocery store. Today we're gonna make some hot chocolate. We are gonna make a whole bunch of hot chocolate that you can put in your own envelopes or put in your own jars. You can give them as gifts or you can stock your pantry. Try to find things that you can make that are frugal that you don't have to rely so much on the grocery store. But the very first thing we have to do is actually will take me 12 hours. I got in the summertime all of these marshmallows. They were three for a dollar and I got six packs of them because we are gonna go ahead and we are going to dehydrate them and they will turn into little marshmallows like you buy in the grocery store when you buy hot chocolate. If you aren't interested in marshmallows, then you can totally omit this process, but if you ever find marshmallows that are real cheap priced, you can go ahead and you can dehydrate them. How long do they last? Years. They will last years in a vacuum sealed uh, package or in a jar but it takes 12 hours at 115 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and I have to do this. And once this is done, with the magic of the camera, we're gonna be right back and we're going to be assembling our amazing hot chocolate. The hot chocolate recipe comes from Gifts from the Kitchen. It's Gifts from the Christmas Kitchen and it is called Easy Cocoa Mix. I'm all about making mixes to put in your pantry. We are going to have so many wonderful videos. As you know, every year I do this around this time. This will be enough to last you all year round and to give many, many gifts to your loved ones. All right, let's go ahead and dehydrate these marshmallows. Dehydrate marshmallows, it's really simple. All you gotta do is put them on your tray. I'm hoping that I have enough room to dehydrate all of them. So why do we dehydrate them? They will last a lot longer this way. They are nice and crunchy, and when you put them in your hot chocolate, they're going to melt really nice and quickly. Now we are dehydrating these at a lower temperature. All right, about 12 hours later, they will be done. All right, everyone, it's been 24 hours later and the marshmallows are totally hard. How do you know? They're crunchy. Mmm, 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 and they're amazing. Now, of course, you don't have to add the marshmallows to them if you don't want to, but I wanted to have marshmallows in our hot chocolate. So I'm gonna pan the camera down. We have my large restaurant style bowl. Everybody's asked me about this bowl. <laughs> it is huge. I think I went a little bit over on the bowl, but I am going to be making a large amount. As you know, when I make something like this, I make it a lot. I'm gonna give you the recipe and I will give you the recipe in the description box below how it is written, okay? So it's written for two quarts, but I'm doing a lot of them and I'm making my own envelopes. A lot of people remark about my recipes and how they're not the recipes that are in the description box below. The description box below is the recipe I'm referring to, but I always, always, always add my own twist to things. Sometimes I don't have an ingredient, sometimes I don't like an ingredient, I don't follow the book with recipes. <laughs> I think you all know that by now. But for those of you who do follow the recipe to the exact, you can see it always in the description box. Okay, so I give all that disclaimer. Now we're going to make our easy cocoa mix. This can be made for gifts. It can be made for your pantry to be shelf stable. 
I'm not going to the grocery store and my whole desire and my hobby in life and the things that I enjoy is finding things at the grocery store and making it at home and I don't need it. So instead of paying somebody else money to have it, I can make it myself. These are all ingredients that are highly stocked upon for two years now. So I have all these ingredients. I don't have to buy anything other than I did buy the marshmallows and they were three packs for a dollar, which was really reasonable and I got it this summer. All right, let's go and mix everything up. It's extremely, extremely simple. It calls for two cups of dry milk. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make each recipe by itself. I'm not gonna double up and then I will make it a couple times. I know, that's kind of hard to explain. So I'm just going to do the recipe that it says in here, but I'm gonna make it like three or four times. Two cups of dry milk. One cup of sugar. Goes for one cup of sugar. Three fourths of non-dairy creamer. And I tried to get away from this, but every recipe I could find called for the creamer. So we have to use the creamer. Three fourths of a cup of the creamer. And then a half a cup of unsweetened cocoa. All right, so I am going to do this about six times off camera, and then I will come back to you when that is all done and we'll mix it up. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the marshmallows. You can add as little or as many marshmallows as you wish. I bet you're wondering how much do you use? You use one fourth cup to one cup of milk or hot water, hot milk or hot water. Alrighty, here we go. Now, I have my own envelopes which I got a long time ago for garden seeds and for my herbs. And we're gonna use these. So I'm gonna take one of these, it makes a packet, and that makes a cup of hot cocoa. So I'm gonna painstakingly do a bunch of these, and then I'll do the rest and put them in a jar. And I'll show you that step when I get to it. All right, and then I went and printed them online. So I printed all the labels online, and there you go, my friends. It is amazing hot cocoa mix in cute little packages, just like store-bought. Go ahead and put the labels on all of my packages here. Aren't they precious? Take a look at them. I'm out just using black ink. It's so frugal. There you go. Colored ink is very expensive, so just get black ink and make your labels. I think they are charming, and anybody would love to have a gift like this. Now, of course, you could make a tag from the Dollar Tree and write a tag for a little bit cheaper. But I love computer projects and computer crafts. And then one more label goes on top of this big jar. One, it is hot cocoa mix. Whether you're using it for your pantry, like I have for this big gallon container, or you want to make little packets like this to give as gifts. You can get a lot of the ingredients even at the Dollar Tree. Aren't they cute? Take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so this is what it looks like and we're gonna turn it on.
All right, so now we have to set the temperature. Yep. It has its own thermostat. Wow, that throws heat. Oh, wow. Wow. That... It is neat. Boy, that thing, that thing really throws heat. All right. I'm back here like six, six feet and I feel the heat coming. Okay, now we can turn it. If we push the button, it turns like a fan, but we don't have to have that if we don't want it. And then we have a timer that you can put it on a timer as well. There you go.